Crafty Crafty, please do hit that subscribe button below and make sure that you also click on the little bell to turn your notifications on. It will let you know every time I upload a new tutorial. It's completely free to subscribe and it's well worth doing. So today we're going to look at creating custom cut settings. Now you may need to create your own custom cut setting if for example you've got a material You've tried the cut setting you would try normally with it, it's not working. You've tried several other settings and it's still not working. The custom cut settings will allow you to find the right balance between the pressure, the amount of times it cuts and the blade you're using as well. The problem is, is that there are a lot of new products flooding the market. In fact, the craft market, especially the cricket market, has really boomed in the last year. You've got lots of different products entering the market, not just from cricket, but from other manufacturers as well. You've got all different types of cardstock. We've got new HTVs, new vinyls, and they're never the same. One foil HTV from one supplier may cut on one setting, and then another foil HTV from another supplier will cut on a completely different setting. And then you may get one that you can't find a cut setting at all for it. And this is where the custom settings really come into their own. So you've got your design, so you're going to go to make it. You're then going to go to continue. You then go to browse all materials. And you'll see at the bottom here, it says material settings. We're going to click on that. So you can see we have got lots and lots of cut settings here. And you're also able to go in and change these. Now, I personally wouldn't change these because they're already preset. But you can see their properties. So example, with light chipboard, you can see it's a pressure of 285. It's got two lots of cuts, and you can see it's the fine point blade. Now if we did click on edit, you can change the pressure, so you can increase or decrease it, and you can also change the amount of times it cuts. However, you cannot change the blade. So this is why it's great to be able to create your very own setting. So if we go to cancel and we go all the way down, you can see it says add new material. So if we click on that, let's just put in glitter HTV pain in the bum. Because let's face it, when they're not cutting, they can be a real pain. So then we're going to go to save. So in here, you can change your cut pressure, so you can increase it or decrease it. Now, the, the kind of initial feeling is that you want to increase your pressure, but sometimes you may find it's better to decrease the pressure and actually increase the cut settings. But that is a trial and error. So you can change your cut pressure, you can change your uh, cut settings, so the amount of time it cuts, and you can also change the blade. So if you, for example, wanted to change it from a fine point to a deep point, you can then do that. As I say, it will be trial and error. My kind of way of doing it is if I've tried several cut settings, I'll come into here and I'll choose a cut setting that, that kind of did the best. So say for example, you're trying to cut card and glitter card stock did the best, but it wasn't quite there. I would write down the settings for glitter card stock and then I will come in, create my own setting, and I will then work from the glitter cardstock's pressure and the amount of time it cuts and its blade. And I will do a few test cuts and just try and find which works for me. So which is the best setting. Once you've found that setting, you can then save it and you'll always have that setting for that specific HTV or that specific vinyl or that specific card. And it just 
allows you, as I say, to kind of come in and change things slightly because not everything is always going to cut under a dedicated setting. And you can spend all day trying to find the right setting and actually it may be worth coming in, creating a custom one and just tweaking it slightly until you've got the right cut setting that works for you. Once you've saved your setting, you then can go and find it in your cut materials. So if we go to browse all materials and we scroll down, you'll find the setting my materials and you'll then be able to click on that and you'll be able to then have it as a cut setting. So your machine will then cut it out using those settings. Playing with the cut settings may really help you to try and find the correct settings that you need.